Hi, I'm Rajat, a co-founder at ZetHub. It's like GitHub, but scalable for your machine learning projects, including generative AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy an LLM-based app with one click using ZetHub capsules, available for free today at zethub.com. Let's get started. So the first thing you do at zethub.com is sign in. I've already signed in using my GitHub credentials and I've gone to a template project, a sample project called MyGPT. This allows you to build a custom ChatGPT-like application that's tailored over your own data set. So all you have to do to make this project your own is click duplicate to create a detached fork of the project, add your data to that repo, train your model, and then deploy it, your application. So I've already created my detached fork. I called mine my GPT emailer because the data set I'm using is all of my Notion documents. And you could see I've got a bunch of them in my data directory. I've also gone ahead and trained my ML model, or in this case, built my vector database full of embeddings over my data set. And now my my GPT emailer app will take the, the, my documents so that I can have a tailored chat GPT experience when my app is deployed. So all I have to do to deploy this now is launch it. So deployments are managed in ZetHub in a feature we've just released called capsules. So just click on capsules and now we can launch this project as a capsule. The first time you do this, there's a couple of app settings you need to specify. What type of app is this? Where should, the, where should ZetHub launch your app from? And any secrets that your app requires. So just select the branch and click deploy. And now ZetHub is building a Docker container, installing the requirements for your project or for your app, and then hosting it. And so while this is happening, I thought I'll show you what's inside my GPT emailer. What's the code look like for this application? So first I mentioned I started with my GPT, which is a template. What does a template mean? It means I've got directories and code that are already laid out for me. So you can see that in this project, I have an assets folder for image assets. I have a data folder for all my documents. I have a model folder for my trained model, or in this case, my vector database full of embeddings. And then I've got a source directory which has all my Python application code. So first, the UI is built using Gradio, and it's defined in app.py. And Gradio, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a great Python package that makes it easy to build web-based user interfaces without having to write HTML, JavaScript, or CSS. So you can build rich interactive applications in the, uh, for the browser without needing to, to switch between uh, different tools and different environments. The, uh, the next file, the most important file in my application besides the UI is called index.py. And this is the file that's responsible for processing my documents, getting embeddings for them, and storing those embeddings in my vector database, then using those embeddings when I put in a question uh, in the app and getting a response from my large language model. So this is the file that processes documents, uses the vector DB, calls out to OpenAI's LLM using Langchain, uh, and glues it all together. So uh, these are the two files that are most important. The one thing I'll mention is the way this is written today can handle a whole bunch of document formats, but if you have other documents, you can add to this list for your, for your version of this app. All right, let's go back to the capsule and see what it's doing. We'll refresh, and now we'll see that ZetHub is, has already finished creating the capsule and deploying it. If I look at my logs, you can see that what ZetHub did was uh, build a Docker container, then install the requirements that are defined in the requirements.txt in the file, and then uh, hosted the site, hosted the app. So I'm all set. So I told you I write a lot of emails, so I want this app to use all of my Notion documents to help me write emails. 
So I'm going to ask this app to write an email uh, to an ML engineer encouraging them to try ZHub for their next project. I want it to be friendly, informative, and not too long. So I've written out my input and I've sent it off to OpenAI. And sure enough, I've got my response. And so now I've got something to start with. I think this is a pretty good start. And all I had to do to get here was to duplicate an existing template on ZHub, add my data, train my model, and then in one click, deploy my capsule. And you know, this is running now. This is a private project, but I could easily change this to a public project. And then if I want to share this with a friend of mine, I can click share capsule, copy the link, and share it with anyone I'd like. So it's just that simple to take your next ML project and deploy it as an application using ZHub capsules. Get started today at zhub.com and thanks for watching.